Well, g'day everybody and welcome back to another episode of Settlements Rising. Uh, you can see in the background there the uh, herbalist hut is going up, which is really, really good. So that is fantastic. Uh, and uh, we now have our uh, weaver's workshop and our cobbler's workshop starting to happen. So that is even better. So what these guys need to do is make herbal medicines. Now we did have... We made it through winter really easily with our um, with our firewood, which was fantastic. Uh, we consumed 50 last year. We've got some more uh, settlers in. Uh, our food stock is going down. We've got uh, 466 food items in stock, so the hunting hut seems to be a bit uh, seems to be a bit full. We've still got three people working in the gatherers hut, but I think we might throw another one into the hunters hut as well, just to uh, keep the hunting going. Uh, timber work is happening over here. They're starting to chop down these trees and stuff which is okay. I know that we've got a hunting area in here, which uh, concerns me a little bit. Uh, so we're probably going to need to look at, I think, um, probably, hmm, maybe a forester to build a forestry area out here somewhere and I think that might be something that we're probably going to have to do uh, a forester's hut and so maybe if we stick a forester's hut up the top here and we start looking at uh, we start looking at that I think as well we do still need to get these built so uh, or although I haven't done these as a priority I am going to have to let them run um this is actually set as a priority it's on the top priority so we're probably going to have to do that as well and, and get that running just so that we can um yeah so that we can get our uh a little bit of an army together just to start sort of expanding out and having a look at what we've got around the map so which i'm actually looking really really forward to uh to figuring out what we do have around the map uh one thing that's going to worry me is we're going to eventually if we build out in this direction we're going to eventually uh start losing some of those uh resources there as well so um our compost yard is filling up she's doing her job grace is working her buttocks off uh, these guys are carrying timber over to there we haven't had anybody pass away yet, which is a good thing. But uh, we've definitely got some, uh, definitely got some clothes being produced, which is fantastic. So that'll start. Uh, he's 38 too. Um, so that'll start actually building these up and building clothes up there. It may be worth putting a second person in there for now. I think. Uh, how are we going, people-wise? We've got eight labourers got four builders might be worth it uh, we've got somebody who's just started in the cobbler's workshop because we need to create shoes they consume seven i don't know how much these guys will actually produce so it might actually in the early stages of the game be worth actually um sort of micromanaging how many people we have doing these tasks might be well worth it these guys are going to make hide coats and clothes that's good they're producing uh this guy is not producing yet because he has insufficient resources which is animal hides but we have 241 animal hides in there anyway i think it's more because uh he's just sitting in his bloody hut doing nothing lazy bum no there he is there he is he's coming in to start making shoes uh Coats wise we consumed five last year and we consumed eight of those last year so I think it's worth clothes are probably the big thing I think because they've got to produce they've got to produce the fibers and stuff like that as well so uh, maybe we could add one more person to that for now 
and hopefully we'll get the resources delivered out there and we'll start being able to do some forestry as well cool so what have we got so far we've got our cemetery and we've got our compost yard we're going to need a school and a healer's hut i think we can now build the healer's hut it's not in there it's in services i believe so there's the healer's hut so we can Desirability is quite high for the healer's hut, actually. What's that? That's a greens resource. Uh, if we were to put the healer's hut in here somewhere. Uh, here with the help of... You know what? It gives, us, it gives us good desirability. So I think I might do it. And I might throw it there. Should I throw it over here? I could throw it there, couldn't I? And that actually increases the desirability of what's going on there. So that'll be good. Another good little building project for us to do would be to, uh, to throw some decorations in as well. Uh, another medium. Uh, medium flower bed or... Yeah, I guess a medium flower bed. Oh, there we go. We've got ourselves a card. Uh, what have we got? Uh, gold production rate in the assigned building increases by 25%. Uh, common. 100 fish. So we could get food straight off the bat if we wanted to. Uh, increased growth rate of fibre plant in the field. Mm, that's when we have farming. Oh, what do we do? What do we do? Let's just take the 100 fish and use it straight away. Just going to add some food on to us as well. Do we need to throw another hunter in there? We can't. Uh, and we can't throw another gatherer in there. So we might actually put... I think we might actually put another hunter out here somewhere as well because we do have a hunting area over there and at the moment how's our so the deer habitat is starting to sort of reduce there as well which is a thing localized reserves housing shortage well it's tough isn't it it's tough it's tough to work out exactly where we're going here we're getting the basic resources down. I think getting into farming is going to be a huge thing uh, for food production. We can do crop fields now. And that's what I really wanted to do, some crop fields. Uh, what do crop fields, do they have any effects? Occupancies, enhancement slots, one. They don't really have any effect on... Uh, so maybe we can throw our farm fields out there. One there. Um, yeah, I think so. I think so. Forester's hut and barracks are, are waiting for resources. So uh, we are running pretty low on laborers at the moment as well. But that's okay. Uh, if we if we reduce our builders maybe by two and put those people into uh, into resource gathering, that would be a good thing, I think. Uh, they have collected stone from out there. We've got forty four stone. Maybe grab those trees as well. That one and that one too. All right, and that's going to actually reduce the shortcut from there, isn't it? Unless people are happy to go across the field. So, get some farming in. That's fantastic. It's going to be really, really good. Um, we're going to have to put some more houses down too, guys. Um, and I think those houses are going to need to be through there, I believe. Let's uh, have a look at our housing. And rotate that. And we'll throw two more houses in there, which will be fine. 
We'll bring that road up there later. I'll put these roads in a little bit later, I think. Um, compost hut is going quite well. We've got some fertilizer, which is going to go on our farming field. So that's fantastic. Uh, what else have we got there? We're going to have to get this forester's hut up and running. And I think the barracks is... People moving around and moving resources everywhere, but where are they going though? So you're all carting stones to all of these uh, little work areas, which is okay. But what we need is we need, are you going, are you going into here? Are you going to dump those straight away? You're not, are you? doesn't look like it our firewood's doing perfectly fine so we don't need to fire up the wood color as yet yeah you see they're gonna they're gonna carry all those resources all the way back to here and dump them in here so maybe a uh, a storage area over here somewhere is probably gonna be a good thing as well i believe although he carried them directly to there didn't he I think some people do it and some people don't. It's going to give us another three. I think they can carry three at once. No, he's carrying one, you lazy bugger. we will carry more than one. These guys have got uh, a little bit of a resource issue there. Um, choppy, choppy over there. So we should be, we should be, we're getting there. We're getting there. Uh, once we get this he this healer's hut happening as well, that's going to be a really good thing. How are we going on? We're going good on shoes. We're going good on shoes. And we're starting to, to build up our clothes as well, which is pretty important. We're in October. We're getting pretty close to winter now. We're getting very close to winter now, so... It always, it's always weird for me to, to, to say, you know, because October is... You know, we're, we're, we're getting close to summer. We're actually getting close to summer in October. And uh, the weather's starting to get real, a lot warmer over here in Australia, which is crazy, crazy. All right, cool. So we're getting there. This is going to be built as soon as a builder comes to build it, which is going to be good. All of the other resources are being delivered. And resources, are, like resource delivery is, like logistics is pretty bloody crazy in this. Pretty crazy indeed. Just in the sense of how much has to move around. So, but I do think, I, I do still think that um, it's, it, it would be good if they could actually grab resources from here and directly take them to sites that need them. I think that would, uh, that would work a lot better. Let's get that tree there. Let's get some uh, trees down here as well. And we'll kind of leave this area here because I'm, I'm really worried about that deer habitat. But I think, yeah, we're still sitting at three, but it was at four at one point. So it's like clothing reserves will soon be exhausted. Well, we're working on it. We're working on it. I wonder whether... It, I wonder whether ah, you can set resources aside so I wonder whether that's worth it I think close priority is probably worth more than coat priority at the moment so we might just change that and hopefully that'll uh, that'll help us out the two people who uh, one lives in there and one lives in that house so at least most people don't have too far to travel to work this poor girl she has miles to travel to work but it is what it is uh, timber resources are the big thing Getting enough timber. They're starting to throw timber down there. Why are the builders not here? I need to know why the builders aren't coming over here and building. 
because we have we have two builders where are they resting and taking equipment and you're resting here we go we're uh, near the end of autumn now we're getting close to another winter we have plenty of food we've got plenty of firewood so I think everything's okay there. We've got enough firewood, I think, to last us maybe another year, I reckon. Right. Okay. More housing. Because population growth is stunted. There we go. It's minus one degree now. Snow's going to come in very, very soon, I think. Uh, how are we going over here? I'm going to take in all of those resources. So, as soon as we get a forester in, we can actually start, you know, building forests around this area and keeping that going. We build all of our farming out here. We'll probably expand out here a little bit with our, uh, with our housing, I reckon. And we'll eventually expand out here with our housing as well. But we've got uh, other priorities at the moment, so... Uh, the other thing that I wanted to look at was we needed, we can't do a trading dock yet. Uh, we're doing the healer's hut now. And I think the school, <coughs> excuse me, the minimum population of 50 before we can actually do a school. So, uh, it's def, she's definitely a, definitely a slow process. I'm just going to speed it up a little bit. The barracks is coming up now, and I think this is going to be really, really good because it's going to allow us to start exploring. So once this has been built, um, we'll, uh, we'll slow down a little bit and then we'll start sort of expanding, expanding what's happening or expanding our, uh, our view of the territory that's around. But we did pick a, uh, a large map here as well, so... There we go, builder's going in, she's hammering, she's soaring, she's hammering, she's soaring. If only it was that easy. And we are done. Let's uh, pop back down again. Let's recruit. Let's recruit two people and get them in training. For now, how many people do we have? Yeah, I think two people for now. So they'll train, and then once they're ready... They'll uh, come and stand out here. Cool, cool. Um, just waiting on timber, mainly, I think. Mainly timber. So, what's next on our production list? The forester's hut is next on our production list. I think that's probably a good thing, actually. That's up there as a priority. Get that finished and done. Start building that. Um, start sort of reforesting this area. Now, I'm not sure exactly how long it takes for trees to regrow. I'm hoping that it, uh, it's not too far or not too long. There we go. He's training, which is fantastic. And uh, having a, a militia and stuff in this is, is a very important aspect of the game as well. Um, because there is a lot of uh, random, I think, uh, should we call them dungeons or quests or... I'm not sure because I haven't got there yet, but uh, there's certainly a lot of stuff to explore on the map and a lot of things to discover as well. So, um, which is, a, a, a again, a, a thing that I'm actually really looking forward to. So, uh, we might move that down the priority list, I think. And we might move that up. Maybe two? No, no. I didn't want to go. Wanted to go down a bit, please. Oh, it took us all the way up there. I was hoping to go in the middle of uh, of there, but anyway, Forest's hut's under construction, so that's happening now. Uh, our soldiers aren't quite trained yet, but they will be soon. Now, there's also uh, military-wise, uh, defense-wise. There's also an archery range. Where we can uh, where we can do archers, so which is uh, which is a, a, another good thing. So we'll probably put that. 
I'm not sure. We may even put that in front of the uh, in front of our town centre. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, for now, getting this finished and getting that done is going to be a uh, a bit of a priority for us, just so that we can get some more. I mean, we've got lots and lots of timber here, so there's really no drama in regards to whether we've got things to. Um, you know trees to chop down and stuff but i would like to have a a viable resource through there spring has hit winter is over we've used up fire 40 firewood over winter and we should start getting some um i think uh we will we'll concentrate on planting seeds and growing new trees and we'll do it in this area here here I reckon and now right perfect and should we throw a couple of people in there maybe not yet maybe not yet all right one of our soldiers is now trained one of our militia which is Ulrich beautiful what are we concentrating on building now crop field okay perfect Get some crops happening. Uh, in fact, we could probably put down another crop field here, I reckon. Right there as well. I'm not sure what's uh I'm not sure what type of stuff we can at this point in time grow. I don't know. So let's, uh, let's just increase the priority of that house there. And we're also going to need to get this done as well. This miner's hut's going to have to go up a little bit. Priority two. Yeah. And we'll put this crop field up as priority one. We can go up to priority one. Perfect. All right. There's a little bit of a delay in that. So... Uh, you are doing medicines and you have produced medicines, which is fantastic because we're going to need, we're going to need a fair bit of medicine, um, to sustain our population. We, we have already had two people get a cold, just a common cold, but they, uh, but they got over it. Militia, beautiful. Let's head over in this direction over here, guys. Let's start exploring what we've got around these areas here. We might uncover the coast as well, so we'll let everything else play through, and we will uh, we'll run these guys. We'll take these guys for a run. So uh, I know, I think from memory, when we started the game down here somewhere, there's some predators. Um, so we're going to need to keep our eye on that. There's no, there's no. I thought there might have been fish there. And we really need to kind of work out where we can do, uh, where we can, uh, or what we can do with the fishing industry because there are fish out on the ocean, so. But I don't know whether we need to actually build ourselves a boat yard. There's, uh, there's a lovely area through here. A nice little, um, little lakey area. There's certainly lots of resources on the map, so that's a that's a, a good thing. That's a good thing, especially as we expand more and more and more. Off you go, guys. Keep moving over in that direction. We'll see what we can find. There's a big mountain over here. Shade of the big mountain. Okay, just head in there for now. Over to there, we'll follow this, uh, we'll follow this around and we'll go over and try and hit the coast and see what's happening there. How's everything going here? Where are our builders? I reckon that's a, he's a builder. He's heading over to build that crop field now, which is good, which is what we want. We have to make sure we don't run into anything uh, untoward over here at the moment. So... But I do believe if we keep going this way, we're probably going to run into some coast. I was kind of hoping, anyway. 
Because we can build a shipyard and stuff at some point in time. There's, there is a mountain down here. There we go. There's a little bit of coastland right there. Beautiful. So we'll follow this coast around and see what we can find. Around we go. And then we might follow it up there as well. So, but it's working out where all these resources that are going to be important to us at some point in time. And if our village is building down around this area, then we probably really need to uncover just this. Just get that uncovered so that we know what's going on in there. Got a big forestry area here, and I reckon there's probably a lot of, uh, probably going to be a lot of animals and stuff in there as well. Okay, let's uh, leave those guys there for now. We do have a farmer. And I think we might make greens, I reckon. And probably grains as well. Greens and grains for now. Lovely, lovely. And we'll probably add a second farmer in there as well. And we are going to get fertilizer, so I think one thing to probably do is to shortcut that. By throwing a uh, road through here as well. Like that. There we go. Perfect. Where are our guys over here? Where are you? Where are you? Soldiers? Must have got them. Oh, I didn't see them down there. They're very, very hard to see, aren't they? We'll send them out exploring a little bit more. Uh, we've got another house nearly built. Which is going to sort this issue out here. Uh, five months food supply is a little bit of a worry. Move those guys over to there. Can't see any work happening with the forester at the moment. So I don't know whether it's... Uh, it, it seems relatively slow, doesn't it? Relatively slow. I'm looking forward to getting into the farming, actually. Send these guys up to here. Right, beautiful. Cool. So we're going to have a couple of farming fields. What's our population looking like? We've only got four labourers now, which is probably not enough. Probably not enough. Okay. Hmm. We do do we have expansion we do have expansion slots in uh, for um once we collect some more cards and stuff which is going to be a really good thing too okay lovely i think uh oh, there we go we're starting to get some trees in now he's actually putting the trees in the wheelbarrow he's going and planting them that's fantastic that's fantastic look he's dug the hole he's going over he's getting the tree and now he's nicking off again. What are you doing? Take food for personal inventory. Okay. Open his profile up. There we go. I like how you can uh, you can get in there and see exactly what's going on with these guys. Uh, you guys move, keep moving forward and follow this coast a little bit. I can't see any fishing spots off the off the edge of the water, so fishing something that we're not going to be able to do probably until we um until we unlock a boatyard, I reckon. Probably. Because I don't think a I don't think a fishing hut's gonna cut it, but I know that there was fishing over here. Let's keep these guys going in that direction. We could test that out, you know. And the reason why we could test that out is because a fishing hut is not going to... It might be alright. There is fish out there. There is fish out here. I'm going to throw a fishing hut in there actually. It's that I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try have a, having a fishing hut in here. 
All right, guys, move over here. There's another lake. We'll check that lake out. Move them over there and we'll kind of probably come back through here and see what we can find. There's a big lake there too. Lovely. And uh, lakes are a resource for water. So that there is actually a resource for water for our homes as well. Which, uh, which is a really good thing too. To keep into consideration if you've got, uh, before you've built a well. We've got a well sitting there now. But uh, this does act as a resource. As a water resource. I'm kind of one of those people that just really like to get all of the black out of the way. Okay, we'll throw you guys over there. How are we going in this field? Good. Good. The water and fertilizer. Mm, until we get more people coming in. We've only got... Well, we've got six laborers now. What have we got... Uh, We've got young four, uh, four young children. Immigrants can come in. That's good. I'm happy with that. And I'm going to throw another one of those immigrants onto there, I think, as well. Cool. Inadequate stock of tools. Villages without tools work up to 30% less efficiently. Oof. Okay, let's bring... that house up all right lovely and then there's that uh this fishing hat which uh, hat hat this fishing hat this fishing hut that we're going to have to build up there but uh what i am going to do guys is i'm going to uh leave this episode here i hope you've enjoyed it um we've got a long 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 way to go but uh, a lot of things to build as well um, food wise, uh, 296 food in stock. Last year we've consumed 621. So this year it's going to be more. So now we've got that farm. I'm hoping that that'll produce quite a bit there. And, uh, if we could also produce some here, that would be really, really good as well. So we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. We are getting there. I think I might uh, send the militia back to the uh, to the barracks and uh, see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.